Welcome to Tony's tutorial. Today our discussion is on the femoral nerve. You know that we were discussing about the front of the thigh region, the thigh region anatomy and now we have an important topic in the thigh region that is the femoral nerve. So let us see about the femoral nerve. important point that I would like to remind you is femoral nerve is the chief nerve of front of the thigh region. So femoral nerve is the chief nerve of anterior thigh region. Anterior thigh region. So the first important point that we must remember is femoral nerve is the chief nerve of anterior thigh region. As a nerve it has a root value and its origin. Can you predict where from where does this femoral nerve origin? That is from the lumbar plexus. So femoral nerve arises from lumbar plexus and its root value is L2, L3 and L4. So the root value is L2, L3, L4 and it origins from the what nerve plexus? That is a lumbar plexus. And now we see move on to the cause of the nerve. That is how we have to discuss that about the nerve. A brief introduction about the nerve. It's a root value and its origin. Now about its cause. The cause. Okay. So let us see this diagram. The femoral nerve arises or enters into the femoral triangle just beneath the, behind the inguinal ligament. So you have the inguinal ligament over here. So this femoral nerve will enter the Femoral triangle, we were discussing and you we did study about the femoral triangle where you know that the inguinal ligament forms the border of the femoral triangle. So, the base of the femoral triangle, okay? And now let us see the femoral nerve arises or enters the femoral triangle, enters the femoral triangle, enters the femoral triangle behind the inguinal ligament. So, the first point is it enters the femoral triangle, enters femoral triangle behind the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament. That's the first important thing. In the femoral triangle, it lies in a groove between the iliacus muscle and psoas major muscle. We did know that uh, if we had the femoral triangle like this, if we had inguinal ligament like this, then we had the sartorius over here, adductor longus over here, we had iliacus, we had psoas major. So this femoral nerve lies between a groove in a big groove between the iliacus and psoas major muscle. Second important lies in, in a groove between groove between two important muscles that is the iliacus and psoas major muscle lies inside a groove between iliacus and the psoas major muscle lies lateral to the femoral artery next point it lies lateral to the lateral to the femoral artery it lies lateral to the femoral artery always the femoral nerve will be running lateral to the femoral artery here you will have the femoral artery and femoral vein etc okay lymph nodes etc so this is lying lateral to the femoral artery so what are the points it enters the femoral triangle behind the inguinal ligament and after that it lies inside a groove between the iliacus muscle and psoas major muscle you know that iliacus and psoas major muscles are in the floor of the femoral triangle so it lies inside a groove between these muscles now the next point it is lateral to the femoral artery even though this nerve is seen in the femoral triangle, it is one of the content of the femoral triangle. This nerve is a content of the femoral triangle, but still it do not 
टेक पार्ट इन द फिमरल शीट और इट इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ द फिमरल शीट यू नो दैट देर इज फिमरल शीट दैट इज कवरिंग ए फेशियल कवरिंग फनल शेप्ड कवरिंग दैट कवर्स द वेसल्स एंड आर्टरीज एक्सेट्रा इन द फिमरल ट्रायंगल दिस फिमरल नर्व डो नॉट is not included in the femoral sheath femoral nerve is not included in the femoral sheath and it is running lateral to the femoral artery so if you have the femoral sheath like this you have all the contents of the femoral artery femoral vein lymph nodes etc but the femoral nerve will be outside the femoral sheath that is lateral to the femoral artery that is a fourth point that you should remember it runs lateral to the femoral artery and outside the femoral triangle now after running about 2.5 cm after running about 2.5 cm this nerve divides into two branches that is what we have to study the anterior division and the posterior division the anterior division and the posterior division after running 2.5 cm in the thigh region this nerve divides into two branches that is the anterior division and the posterior division now let us see the branches so this nerve will be running up to here and here it will give rise to its anterior branches anterior branch this continues like this yes okay and the posterior division posterior division will be arising from here let us demark or differentiate it using one another color this will be the posterior division one posterior division i will explain to you we will see in detail which are these divisions okay uh, then one more division which passes like this and another one more division which passes like this this continues like this okay then one more division over here okay let us see what are the divisions of this femoral nerve we will explain this diagram with the help of a flow chart now let us see the branches of femoral nerve the branches of femoral nerve the femoral nerve is giving the following branches like a muscular branch which supplies the muscles you know that then the cutaneous branch then the cutaneous branch then an articular branch and finally a vascular branch so the femoral nerve will be the giving of four branches one is a muscular branch cutaneous branch articular branch and vascular branch muscular branch supplies the muscles cutaneous nerves for the sensory supply articular branch is to the joints very good and vascular branch is to the blood vessels now let us see the branches so if you have the femoral nerve like this fn okay it can be divided into two divisions they are the anterior division and here the posterior division the anterior division give rise to one muscular branch only one muscular branch let us name it as m1 okay anterior division gives rise to only single muscular branch and two cutaneous branch c1 second one c2 so the anterior division gives rise to one single muscular branch and two cutaneous branches always remember that then the posterior division gives rise to one muscular branch you call it is m2 another muscular branch m3 one more muscular branch m4 and again one more muscular branch m5 so it gives rise to about four muscular branch in fact it is five five muscular branches and one cutaneous branch that is a c3 so that is the division of the femoral nerve okay anterior division this is supplying the sartorius muscle so the nerve to sartorius arises from the anterior division this is the intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh and c2 is the medial cutaneous nerve of thigh medial cutaneous nerve of thigh see so m1 that is the nerve to the sartorius c1 intermediate cutaneous nerve c2 is the medial cutaneous nerve m2 supplies the rectus femoris rectus femoris nerve to the rectus femoris m3 it supplies vastus lateralis m4 it supplies vastus intermedius m5 it supplies vastus medialis and c3 it is saphenous nerve 
it is a saphenous nerve. For memorizing this, let us draw it once again. A bit, a first revision, let us have it. That is, you have the femoral nerve, it can be divided into anterior division and posterior division, right? Anterior division is giving rise to M1, one muscular branch, two cutaneous bands, C1 and C2. Posterior division is giving rise to four muscular bands, M2, M3, M4 and M5 and one cutaneous branch, C3. Okay, now let us see. M1 is supplying the sartorius, that is known as a nerve to sartorius. C1 is intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh. C2 is medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Okay, that are the divisions of anterior division. Now the posterior division, M2 is the nerve to rectus femoris. Now from the lateral side you should start, nerve to vastus lateralis, okay, vastus lateralis, VL. After vastus lateralis you have vastus intermedius, nerve to vastus intermediate, okay. Then you have nerve to vastus medialis and finally cutaneous branch is the saphenous nerve, the saphenous nerve, okay. Now. The articular branch, we saw the muscular branch, we saw the cutaneous branch, but we do not see the articular branch. Articular branch for the knee joint, hip joint arises from M2 division, that is to the joint 1, okay, that is the hip joint. So hip joint gets nerve supply from the nerve to rectus femoris. Hip joint gets nerve supply from nerve to the rectus femoris. And nerve to the vastus intermediate supplies the knee joint, G2, as well as it supplies the last muscular branch that is M6 for the articularis genu muscle. We studied that muscle, a small muscular strip that is the articularis genu. So that is the articularis genu. This uh, vastus lateralis also supplies the knee joint. Okay. So the articular branches is hip joint is creating exclusive supply from the M2 that is a nerve to rectus femoris. Knee joint it is getting supply from nerve to vastus lateralis and nerve to vastus intermedius and also from nerve to vastus medialis. And the articularis genu is getting its supply from the nerve to vastus medialis. The nerve to vastus sorry vastus intermedius. The nerve to vastus intermedius divides into a joint um, an articular branch and a branch to the articularis genu. That's all about the branches of the femoral nerve. It is very easy to study the femoral nerve, provided you remember the previous sessions. Now let us see. See, this is the femoral nerve. It comes like this. It divides into, this one is the nerve to sartorius. This is the nerve to sartorius. Here it gives the intermediate medial cutaneous nerve of thigh medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. See, this portion is the intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh. Intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh. So, the femoral nerve comes and divides into anterior branch. First one, it gives a muscular branch to sartorius. It gives another branch to the uh, cutaneous branch to medial cutaneous nerve. This gives to the intermediate. Now, you have the posterior division which I have dotted lines. That is the first one nerve to rectus femoris. The first one it is a nerve to rectus femoris. Now the most lateral one is the nerve to vastus lateralis. No need to remember that. You know that if you know lateralis, lateralis is the lateralmost muscle then you can answer that. Next to that you have the nerve to vastus intermediate. Next to that you have the nerve to vastus intermediate. And the nerve, was, uh, of course, uh, passing to the medial side, that is the nerve to vastus medialis. This one will be the uh, nerve to vastus medialis. And this is its a cutaneous branch, that is the saphenous nerve, which passes all like this. And that is the saphenous nerve. Clear? That is so simple if you understand and if you draw it. Yes, let us draw it once again together. You can draw with me, then you can study that. See, the femoral nerve comes like this. It gives off two divisions. One is the anterior division, which is nerve to sartorius. The nerve to the, the lateral, the intermedial cutaneous nerve of the thigh. 
and this continues as the medial cutaneous, intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh and medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Now you have its posterior division which we can draw as dotted lines which is a nerve to rectus femoris. Then the lateralmost nerve is nerve to vastus lateralis. Very good. The next lateralmost nerve, medialmost one is a nerve to vastus intermedius. Now medialis comes. You should move on to the medial side. Now this is the nerve to medialis. And finally, it's the last branch, which is a cutaneous branch, which is known as the saphenous nerve. The cutaneous branch is known as a saphenous nerve, which divides it into two divisions in the uh, knee joint. You need not worry about that. So these are the branches of the femoral nerve. Understand, first you study the branches, then you draw a diagram, label it and redraw it and study again. So the femoral nerve, it is very simple topic. Let us discuss about the branches once again. It has two branches, the two divisions, anterior division and posterior division. The anterior division gives rise to one muscular branch, which is the nerve to sartorius. It gives to two cutaneous branch, cutaneous nerve of medial cutaneous nerve of thigh, lat intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh. Then you have the which nerve, the, the posterior division, which gives rise to nerve muscular branches, nerve to rectus femoris, nerve to lateralis, nerve to intermediates, nerve to medialis. And finally, one cutaneous nerve, that is the saphenous nerve. Nerve to intermediates again divides into or supplies the articularis genu, that is a nerve to articularis genu. Hip joint is supplied by nerve to rectus femoris and knee joint is supplied by nerve to vastus muscles that is our lateralis, medialis and intermediate muscles. And the vascular branches are to the femoral artery and its branches. And finally the vascular branches of the femoral nerve are to the femoral artery and its branches. So we discussed about the femoral artery. First we discussed like what is its uh, root value, its uh, origin. Then we discuss its course, then we discuss its branches. Branches we saw, muscular branch, cutaneous branch, articular branch and vascular branch. Vascular branches are to the femoral artery and its nerves and its branches. Femoral artery and its branches. So that's all about the femoral artery. So femoral nerve and about the clinical significance. The injury to the femoral artery may occur due to injury to the groin region and thigh region, but it is relatively rare. And if there is an injury, definitely you get the paralysis of which muscles can you say? The quadrus femoris muscle. You can get the paralysis of that muscles. Okay. And there will be sensory loss in the anterior part of the thigh, medial part of the thigh and medial part of the leg. Sensory loss in the anterior part of the thigh because it supplies the intermediate cutaneous nerve and so on. Medial part of the thigh, medial cutaneous nerve and medial part of the leg. So that's all about the femoral nerve. Stay tuned. Button.